Hi and uh, welcome back to my channel. Today I received uh, a comment uh, notification uh, on YouTube. It's uh, from user um, uh, Corona Barrios. <laughs> he commented, "Bro, uh, new fork of Havoc. It's called Mayhem. Check it out." So thank you very much, uh, Corona Barrios. So this is uh, really I I started this channel precisely to to interact uh, with community members uh, this way. So thank you very much. Um, I immediately, I then immediately went uh, to check uh, what uh, what this is, uh, and uh, and this is uh, what I discovered. So basically, it's a new firmware based on Portapack, but uh, it's a different uh, branch. And the fact is that the Portapack was not uh, maintained anymore, while this is actively maintained, and so they are they just reached the version one point zero three. Um, and I think the development is quite active. If you if you see about uh, if you see here in the issues in uh, GitHub, uh, you can see that they're just now one hour ago they are deciding if they want to communicate uh, using Discord and Slack. So this is something actually going on right now, and I think it's uh, it's great. It's uh, very it's very good news. Uh, so uh, it's very good news because uh, we can expect uh, you know to. To have uh, developments around uh, the Portapack software, so we can interact uh, with the developers, maybe, and ask them uh, to improve on something or to do something entirely new. And this is, of course, uh, great. So let me in this video, I basically so let me first show that I have indeed installed uh, the new the new firmware. As you can see here, it says HackerF Portapack Mayhem. And here the version, I don't know if you can see, it's indeed 0, 1.0, 0, uh, 1.0.3, right? Um, that's, that's it. So if we start it, uh, we see we have a nice um, new type of graphical interface. And uh, yeah, anyway, the, 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 the goal of this video is not to interact so much with the new firmware. I will do that uh, possibly in the future. Uh, in this video, I just want to to show you how to install this. Uh, if you have already, if you have a porta pack uh, with some different firmware like the old Avoc, uh, you know, I'm just going to tell you how to install the new version, uh, and um, so to to save you some time, maybe. So in order to do that, let me. It's very simple. So let me actually share the screen here. Um, so let me reduce. Uh, the size of this thing and uh, okay so wait uh, i hope uh, this is going to to work uh, um right so here you should uh, you should at the moment see all of uh, my screen and we are in the github page of uh, the project uh, portapack mayhem um so let's go back uh, to the main page here and as you can see at the moment, there are the release notes. At the moment, we are at the revision, uh, the version uh, 1.0.3. And you can just find uh, help for the installation in this wiki, but it's really super simple. There are two files that you have uh, to download. This is the actual firmware, Mayhem uh, firmware. And uh, the other big files, as you can see, it's uh, 387 megabits. It's uh, what you have uh, to put inside your SD card, okay? So anyway, the important uh, file is, uh, is this one uh, for the basic functionalities. So I have already downloaded it uh, and put it in uh, uh, the Mayhem directly here. So I downloaded both files, as you can see. And um, so if I double click uh, on the, the firmware file, I I can open it uh, depending on uh, the software installed in your Ubuntu. You have uh, perhaps to install uh, something to read this seven uh, Z uh, format, uh, and to do that, I think uh, where is it? Uh, let me see. Uh, perhaps here. Uh, no, I had uh, I already have installed it. So um, let me see. But, uh, yeah. This is the, the code uh, you have. Um, this is the code uh, you have to run uh, to install uh, the support for this um, 7Z format. Okay, so if you don't have it, this is the code uh, to run. Uh, anyway, um, as you can see, then uh, you you can use a graphical user interface like this. Uh, and the important file uh, to extract uh, th these are files uh, instruct uh, installation files for Windows. So if you're in Windows, just execute uh, this uh, file here. 
uh, flash porta pack media dot bat bat is the execution file uh, for for windows uh, if you don't have um, like me if you have a linux for example or mac os this is the important file it's called porta pack h1 underscore h2 mayhem so you just uh, put it in some directly in directory for example here and then you go to the terminal so let me go uh, to the terminal and uh, as you can see uh, we are here uh, as you can see the porta pack is connected so to flash uh, this uh, firmware in your porta pack even if you have uh, the older version of uh, the porta pack so you basically go to akaref mode typically this is an option you find at the end of the list of uh, functions of your firmware of the porta pack so at the moment i am in uh, akaref mode and so i can flash uh, i can flash uh, the firmware and to do that uh, let me see I already executed this command so let me see um, what was it yeah you have to run uh, this code akaref uh, underscore spy flash uh, line w and then the name of the file that you just downloaded so let me do that again so I'm going to just uh, uh, refresh my my thing and uh, that's that's it so it's uh, super fast and now it's, uh, it's done if i reset my my porta pack i'm back to the main firmware so now we have updated uh, the main firmware and um, super simple okay now i also have an sd card here inserted so you can get uh, i don't know geographical maps or this type of things um, so it's uh, as you can see uh, it's uh, in here and what you have to do is just um, you know using some SD card uh, reader um, format this SD card with uh, a FAT32 format which is uh, the one you probably use already for most things it's compatible with Windows and uh, put the content of this uh, compressed file so put all this directly just in the SD card as the uh, as it is okay so nothing else and then you're done um, it's uh, it's all it's all uh, you need to do and uh, so let me go back uh, to the full screen and then you have uh, your mayhem porta pack uh, installed so let me just have a quick look at it i'm not going to do a full review of this uh, of this uh, extension it's just uh, just to have a look uh, so let me see if i can focus okay so yeah, it has more or less, uh, um, I don't, unfortunately this camera is pretty horrible, but wait a second, let me try to turn off a light. So, um, well, kind of. Okay, so as you can see, the, you have the receive, the transmit, capture, replay function calls, uh, here a scanner. So basically the same functionality of the porta pack. So for the moment they haven't added uh, so many new things. It's just uh, a new rebranded and updated version of the old uh, Porta Pack Havoc uh, firmware. Uh, something different I noticed is here if I go in Tools, uh, or at least different than what uh, the, the, the Havoc firmware version I had before. I go to the Signal Generator. It's basically as before, but now I can uh, decide if I want to select uh, the uh, amplification uh, RF uh, setting or not. So it's, it's either 0 or 14. Uh, before you could do this only on, uh, on software using your radio companion, for example. And uh, the only thing that you could uh, set was the IF gain here. But now you can um, do both things, which is great. And uh, so I'm going to explore, um, you know, all these functionalities uh, in, the next, uh, in the next future. Uh, in this video, I just want to point out something slightly weird that uh, I discovered. Um, so if I uh, connect uh, to the RF uh, uh, clock in port uh, of uh, the ACRF, basically this is the port where you're supposed to send a 10 MHz signal to regulate uh, the clock uh, of uh, your ACRF. But at the moment it's weird, it's actually outputting a 10 MHz signal, okay? So I don't know why it's doing that so if you have a look at uh, um, i have just connected this port uh, to my oscilloscope it's 50 ohm terminated and this is the this is just a very very basic 20 megahertz uh, oscilloscope so anyway this is the 10 megahertz uh, um, signal that i'm getting from the uh, clock in uh, port uh, which is uh, very weird in my opinion 
and and nothing comes out in that in, instead from the clock uh, uh, let me disconnect from here from the clock out port which is where i would expect to get uh, the 10 megahertz signal so let me connect it quickly okay as you can see we get no signals okay right no signals coming out from the clock out port but signal coming out from the clock in port yeah that's just bizarre so i'm going definitely to report this on the github page of the mayhem uh, porta pack uh, firmware i'm very excited about about this uh, and um, so we can really hope for some improvements on the software which is great uh, that's all for uh, this video bye bye